Oh. It's time. It's time. Ooh, it's time. Ooh. Time for Twitch to say I'm offline. I don't believe you, Twitch. I think you're lying. Believe you, Twitch. It is. Okay, good. This is it. This is genuinely probably the last story mode stream? Sorry, mode I say. Non post game? Probably. High odds! These are my levels going into the crater. I'm not gonna power level or anything past this. I don't think I need to be any higher. And to be honest, Cloud is only that high as a byproduct of catching up Kiefer. But, uh. Looking pretty nice. How goes it? Pretty good. It be going. So we got some stuff to do. We gotta get Tifa's final limit break. We've got to get Tifa's final weapon. And I think that's it. I think that's actually it. Which is pretty good news. So I've got the, the notation for this piano thing via keyboard inputs because unfortunately I can't really one-to-one -one it with a controller the way this game is laid out, so we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. Here we go. We did it. That's Tifa's master, Zangan, who isn't really talked about much in the game, but... Ooh! Cloud's just like... Okay. So, final heaven. Can't do it yet. I think she has to have level 3, right? Yeah, we gotta use the level 2 limit a lot. But we have it. 
you know, when that's ready. That was pretty easy, right? That, that's a solid piece of progress. But uh, next up, we've got to go get Tifa's final weapon. And to do that, we got to go back to Midgar. That's an imposing red tentacle there. Drop the key somewhere. It must have been on that excavation tour. Now, where 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 have we heard excavation before? That's right, the Bone Village. Obviously. All right. We kind of, we gotta just basically hire a bunch of people. Could be a pain in the ass. But the idea that I have is that we're gonna, we have to basically order them all and then we've got to see where they all face. And then try and like get to the center of that. I'm gonna try and get them in all the key areas of the town. See if we get anything. I'm praying. I'm praying for good luck. Oh, the potion. That was kind of close to what we were going for. We found an item. Oh, I see. We gotta go for the normal treasure. I truly wonder how they're gonna handle this in Remake. It brings me such curiosity. All right, I think that's good. Definitely. Their line of vision definitely meets there. There we go. Now that we got the key to Sector 5, we're gonna go there. What's up?
Now we're back here. Remember this place? Kinda wild. It's been maybe a little bit of time. The dialogue changes at least. Oh, fuck. I forgot there were enemies here. Well, these have to be the most free things ever now. Oh, yeah. Worth literally nothing. brutal. They gotta remind me. Was it up here? Oh man, is she... Is Marlene still here? Oh, it's abandoned. Completely destitute. I remember where where to go here. They're in calm. You don't you don't get to actually see it in game. Oh, okay. I bet they're gonna add that in remake. I have to go through here, don't I? To get to the. Uh... Oh hey. My friend, goodbye. Nice to see the Hell House again, though. My buddy. up here, right? Hey, welcome back. Look at that, we got the premium heart. That is Tifa's best weapon. It's in it it increases in strength the higher her limit gauge is, if I remember right. Which makes it really weird, cause like Getting it that high, but also not having it full. But you know. Quite a weird one.
fun to look at these old stores. There we go, we want to go here. What's in here? That's a good item. Believe it or not, that is actually worth the buy. That's the sneak glove. Uh, that's really good if you want to steal stuff. Not like my gill is gonna go anywhere else, so. But yeah, I also power leveled up Yuffie to level 57. But really, most of my characters are North Crater ready. If I if if if. If at any point I wanted to switch characters, I could. And I could just be like, yeah, I'm doing the North Crater. But, uh... I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else to do. I think I've got everybody's ultimate weapons. Let me see. Da, 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 da. We got, yeah, we got Ultima Weapon, we got Premium Heart, Missing Score, I think Red 13s is not bad, is it? Oh, uh, let me see, that could be, I don't know, doesn't sound right though. Oh no, we gotta visit Bugenhagen, right? We gotta go see him at Cosmo Canyon. With Red 13, and we'll get our weapon for Red 13. And then at that point, I think that's everyone's. At least I wanna say it is. That, that sounds right. Because I think we got SIDS. I, I definitely... I definitely believe we have SIDS. Uh, I know we got Clouds. We got Tifas. We got Yuffies, because Yuffie's ultimate weapon is, in fact, the Conformer. And the fact that Yuffie's best weapon is also the Conformer is really good. You, you could maybe even make the argument that Yuffie's ultimate weapon is one of the most useful ones post-game period. Because if, you, if you're trying to grind power sources, or just sources in general, the Conformer is like literally the best way to do it. The only way, really. So in, in that regard, I'm pretty sure Yuffie's is all, pretty much the most useful ultimate weapon for post-game. We got that one, we got the... Death penalty, we have the missing score. But really, yeah, I think it is just red 13s that's left. I feel kind of bad for red 13, did not use him much in this playthrough. Maybe when I do my, uh, my replay of the game on my own time. In the future, I'll try using Red 13 more, but I really did not use him. I used him in one dungeon in this playthrough. I, like, I tried to use every character at least once. But... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it, I guess. But I like Red 13, the character. I don't know. 
It's complicated. Gotta see Buchenhagen. I just could not explain it if I tried to. The way I feel about it. But I'm sure Red 13 is a perfectly fine, good character to use. Gotta leave this to Red. Oh no! Dead. what Red 13's does. Oh, it's like clouds but with MP. That's cool. Cool indeed. Very, very cool. So I think that's everything. Like, I, I think we're pretty much done getting weapons. Now, I also think characters' final weapons also have, like, effects on their stats sometimes. I know Clouds does. There's an unused version of this scene where Bugenhaga doesn't actually die and just goes psych. I'm, I'm... That, that would not have had the same impact, to be honest. It would have been really weird, to be honest. Right, so I think we're actually, we don't have SIDS, actually. I think, uh... The last one we need is SIDS.
and where we gotta go is here. We got, we, I think we gotta bring Sid here. My guy. As much as I like Sid, I'm not using him at the end of the game. I like the Tifa... the Tifa edition too much, but... Although... Yeah, like, look at all those materia slots. But, well, this was my ultimate decision. So we've gotten everybody's ultimate weapons. We have all of their final limit breaks that I'm not grinding because, no. I mean, I know there's an easy way to do it, but... Didn't feel like it. Just, just did not feel like it, so... Here we go! Time for the North Crater! Now what I might do is actually just start equipping ultimate weapons. And rearranging my materia. Like, I'll do this. And just something like that. Because, like, I know those can level up. So I guess what I could do is leave it like this for now. Level those up, and then once those are leveled up, I could switch to steel, because it wouldn't take very long. With Vincent, I think most of this is mastered. And Quadra Magic, it probably wouldn't wouldn't benefit too much. So Is. Oh, 
I mean, I guess he could have double cut. Wouldn't hurt. Alright, I think this is going to be the materia and equipment setup for this dungeon. So, uh... Here we go! Did I get Vincent Magic Plus, actually? Oh no, because I'm waiting for Cloud to master that. Actually, question. If enemy skill is... Well, no, it doesn't have any AP growth, right? Good. What I could do... You enter the North Cave? Yeah, I've been in there a little bit for for the power grinding, well, power leveling to get teeth up to level 60. There's a few open chests you're gonna see. Sorry. But, uh... That was all off-stream. I haven't entered it yet. I'm still doing prep. This is the last bit of preparations. I think we're good. I think this is, this is what I want to go with. I might switch that all out for Master Grim, to be honest. I've got quite a few spares. No, I have not been that far in. I only went the first couple floors in to level up. I wanted to minimize the amount of deep I went in there. When I was doing that, because I was like, I don't want to spoil too much for myself. Now let's look at Cloud's magic stat now, because his ultimate weapon, look at that magic attack. You see that. With the ultimate weapon, Cloud's magic stat, exponentially better. Uh, and as you can see, he's got 207 magic attack, which means any spells Cloud casts could do massive damage. Truly massive damage. Pandora's box is technically the ultimate one, yeah. It's basically the best one. Look at his fucking magic set. Absurd. Honestly fucking ridiculous. Alright, we're super fucking ready now. This is the setup. So we're still gonna level some materia, but it's not the major focus. Because again, the ultimate weapons have no AP growth at all, so they can't level materia. But to make up for it, they're extremely powerful. And we're gonna kinda see that. So welcome to the Northern Cave. This area has many a gimmick enemy to really make your life miserable. As I learned when grinding here a little bit. This is not one of them. 
Let's see if we can get the, the funny, though. We're gonna see if we can get the funny funny. Yeah, we got it! So, um... It'll eventually unstop. Just give it a minute. The reason it spins around for that long is because I have the contained materia paired with added effect, and it's immune to break status, but it's not immune to confusion and stop, which it also casts. So both of those happen at the same time, so it's spinning around while stopped. Which means it rotates for quite a while. Assuming you don't physically attack it. These things are annoying. And to prepare for them, because I don't know my average party level, or my... I don't know my math offhand. I might have fucked that up. Hold on. Now we're gonna want to do this because when the gargoyles die... Okay, well... Normally when they die, they do something. So sometimes the gargoyles cast level 4 death when they die. Which is obviously really fucking bad. You really don't want that. So I casted Death Force just in case. These things don't have a gimmick. Well, they have this move, but I don't know if it's supposed to do anything or what it really does. Jesus Christ. Cloud's damage is unreal right now. Holy fuck. Cloud just does so much damage. The ultimate weapon. Which, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, like, this dungeon's the only unique area in Disc 3. You could technically go back and do anything you miss from Disc 2, but like, when it comes to Disc 3 only content, this is a... Oh. We finally have Mug. Wow, I love break status. So the cool thing about Cloud's ultimate weapon is that it's, uh, it's, it's attack power. Or rather, uh... A lot of its strength is dependent on Cloud's HP when he's attacking with it. 
And the lower Cloud's HP gets, the more transparent the sword gets. Which is a pretty neat touch. Although again, you can see that even at half HP, it is really strong anyways. But you know what, look, see, you notice it, 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 it became less faded? And we're gonna try to feed all these enemy kills to Vincent. Because it does actually power up his weapon, every enemy he kills. Now that Cloud's mastered that materia... We can do some arranging here. And we can start leveling up Double Cut. Tempted. Because having another added effect would be nice. How far is it? Oh god. <laughs> I don't think I'd get that much AP in this dungeon, to be honest. Plus, it wouldn't work on the weapon, so I'm gonna leave it as is. another one of these. Jesus Christ! Wow. Free, I guess. But I'm trying to figure out... Okay, these enemies are really annoying. If you don't do enough damage to them in one go, they, uh, they will split. And, and use an attack that can instantly kill. So we're gonna try and do enough damage to kill them. There we go. Those enemies can be quite a pain in the ass. that chest over there. Is it through that door up there? Probably is. Yep. That's good. Ooh, not that I needed it, but it's good. No spin. No spin. Truly unfortunate.
I mean, listen, if they brought back Hell Health, I'm sure. I'm sure. You just want to see it, right? Oh, wait, the spinning frozen dragon? I don't know about that. I mean, it, it's... It is, but in a way it's like completely normal for this franchise, cause like... That's nothing new. Oh. the damage that Cloud's gonna do. Let, let's just look. Let's just look at Cloud's magic damage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that, that looks good. That looks pretty good. I'm liking that. Now where is that save crystal I know you get? Did I forget to pick it up or something or... Oh there it is. We want that, we're gonna create one later. damage Cloud's Aqualung does. I actually don't know what that does. I'm gonna assume that it's like silence or something. But uh, since he's got a ribbon, that doesn't really do anything. Like I said, I'm trying to level up Cloud's Magic Plus Materia, so that we can pass another one to Vincent. That's the- that's the big idea. Because Vincent does not have a Magic Plus, but his Magic stat is quite high on its own. And- oh, he's capped out on MP, he's actually reached the maximum MP total. Which 
is awesome. He's actually at all three nines. Oh, that's like an item? Whippable, you say? Ooh. Ooh, who gets it, though? Because... To be honest, Vincent might need it more, and we'll give him some more materia slots. I'm gonna give it to Vincent for now. Cause like... It means we can actually do some more, uh... This set of enemies is just smoked. Oh, this again? I've actually got an idea now that I can set up Vincent's materia like this. Bikini babes and parasites? I mean, that seems right. Let's go slash all! Boo! Vincent! Alright, so what I want to do with Vincent, actually... Is... Because I can't get him a ribbon... Without, you know, popping up his inventory beyond what I would want. What I'm gonna do instead is the, the bootleg method. Which is that. And that's basically a pseudo ribbon. That'll protect against a lot of statuses. Keep, I think, is fine on her own. Plus, we'll have access to the Hades summon, which is never bad. Ow. That's it, you're getting Omni Slashed. This could do a million damage. I'm actually horrified at the damage. Oh yeah. This this is so cool. Ooh. 
I think... I think Omni Slash is actually, like... And correct me if I'm mistaken... But Omni Slash is, like, the... The strongest attack in the game, if you can get it to do 9999 each time, it actually will out damage Knights of the Round. If you can somehow get it to cap out for every hit. Because it hits, like, a little bit more. Technically, Omni Slash can be the most damaging move in the game, even though, like... The odds of that are really low. But it can happen, with hero drinks and, you know... A strong will. Water kick! Well, that's a perfect setup for Vincent to shoot them. Yeah, it's just a couple hero drinks and, uh... And source farming and, yeah, I, I can see it. Vincent should always just be sad. Vincent should always have sadness because his limits aren't that great anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I guess that's lore accurate, but oh hey. Oh, well. <laughs> bye. Cl Cloud is just running over shit. But you're not high enough level to do the North Crater, they said. I don't believe you, person. Oh no. Oh yeah, Tifa's gonna do like no fucking damage right now. To be honest, I should probably give her like Death Blow and Added Cut. Because, uh... Ribbon! Okay, well, Hades doesn't protect against that, I guess. Which is, uh... Well, not the best. Level 30 to 40? Really? That doesn't seem right. That, that sounds a little wrong. I would assume, like, high 40s. Because, like, I wasn't even grinding at all, and I was level 50 by the time I got here. So I would assume it'd be, like, level, like, high 40s, low 50s. Like, no optional content. I mean, I guess if you're, like, speeding to the end, but, like... I didn't do anything at Fort Condor. I just fought most of the enemies I ran into, which, to be honest, is probably how this happened. Yeah, by this point in the game, too, you've also got, like, HP+, plus and MP+, plus and all sorts of magic. But, like, you, you watched the whole thing, or at least most of it. I wasn't really grinding, it just... These level ups just kind of happened. I ended up at... I was level 58, and the only reason I stopped to level characters up was because Tifa was really far behind, and I had to catch her up. So I went and got an EXP plus materia and caught her up. And then was like, yeah, I can just do North Crater like this. But, like, this is the level- this is basically the level I was at when I first got here. But, 
it's uh Hold on. Do you need added effect for that? Or is it Or is that right? Ah, it's gonna be added effect. It's my entire party. That's gonna be hard, cause like... I've only got materia for one party. Now that we've seen the dragon spinning funny haha, it's probably better. Probably more beneficial to my party. Vincent be immune to most things. Whoa. Luxor's... This is a cool screen. Right, back to the North Cave music. Back to our regularly scheduled- Yo, look at this guy. Armored Golem. Oh my god. Materia there though. Can I get it? Guess not. Or is there a way to get that? what level I am, double cut on cloud. Double cut on cloud with the Ultima weapon just seems like it's just bad times for whatever. The mash? Mega all. Ooh. What is that? That sounds good. All effects on every action. Wow! There has to be a stat penalty for that. Fucking no way is there not. Really? Wow! That's really good. Maybe. Maybe the- <laughs> I don't know about this late in the game, to be honest. But it's cool. That's definitely an interesting materia. Mm. 
Magic counter. Ah, that's cool. So you counter magic with that. Okay. Alright, so, uh... Okay, but listen, it's blue, it's different. Anyways, um... We can't lose the fight now. So I'm just gonna go get something real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm chilling. I think he'll do anything? It's exciting watching, right? So, yeah, uh, Master Time Mary can't do anything now. One thing about Master Tonberry you have to know though, do not attack him twice before he's moved again. You have to wait till he's at least moved or attacked. If you attack him twice before he's had a turn, he'll counterattack with a spell that does a lot of damage. You don't want that. You really, really don't want that one. Nice, that's a good steal. Yeah, the Tonberry is very much dependent on the ATB system to be effective. Let's see if he turns around it. Nope. Ooh. So this enemy does actually, interestingly enough, have the most HP of any enemy in the game. Like, not of bosses, but like of regular enemies at, I think it's something like 44,000. But yeah, to be honest, I probably could have come in here right after the last stream. The only thing about this enemy is that it takes forever to kill him. Because he's so... There's so much HP and you can't attack more than once. And the reason you can is because this counterattack that he does if you do that is really nasty. It's this attack called Everyone's Grudge. 
And it does more damage depending on how many enemies you've killed. Like, the more enemies you have killed, the more damage that attack will do to you. Again? No, I don't want to. Well, let me leave. I, th I think we'll be able to get away. I've actually not heard Tom Mary's voice. Is it awful horrible, or is it like actually funny? Or is it like A and B? Now the other thing that I'm astutely aware of is that what I'm fighting right now are not the strongest enemies in the North Cave. So like, I'm having a pretty breezy time, but... I am sure that will change. Now this place I know is the materia grinding place. Oh fuck. Ooh, big breath? What does that do? Yo, Vincent? Paste? Bye, Ari Man. It's Mike from Monster Zing. This music is goofy. This music sounds zany. There's some hijinks. Alright, so this is where you normally farm for materia. If you're looking to level up your materia, you want to pass this dude an elixir and then beat the fuck out of him. Otherwise, he'll counterattack with, uh, stealing your shit. It's not cool. So, don't let it- don't- don't let that happen. But, uh, if you combine this with, uh, well, triple and double growth materia equipment, you can build up your AP real fast here. Along with one other encounter here that's a pretty cool reference to a game that also had a great way to grind your, your secondary skills. If you actually run into them, they'd be pretty cool. Oh, that's the Master Tonberry. Actually, to be honest... Uh, 
I want to swim in the planet's core liquid, right? Doesn't that sound like a fun trip? I mean, it sounds really dangerous, but... Wouldn't that be a, a hoot and a holler? You? Like somebody has W a double item here. Uh, well, I'm gonna need more elixirs for the magic pots, so you know what I'm gonna do. Now that we're completely safe, we're just gonna uh, gonna make some more. Gonna grind some more elixirs. The best glitch in the game. Don't mind me. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, we can just leave. Because Death Force isn't particularly expensive to cast, so I don't feel like I wasted MP. While I'm here. I forgot to go to the store, but it's okay. They got my bag. You can always have more. Kind of funny they didn't make the knife move like just a really really high damage physical attack because if i remember right in ff5 the first appearance of the tonberry the knife was just like this ridiculously strong physical attack if memory serves are you mad they're all amazing oh it's dead now That's like none of me. Yeah, whereas in this game they were just like, well, we could have it just cast instant death, right? Nobody would ever cheat and ignore that. I don't know, they didn't care about the idea of. Okay, so we're gonna get a shitload of AP. Just throwing it out there, we are going to get like a ton of, of MP right now. Or MP, oh my god, AP. Or you're probably going to see some materia level up. That's going to be what, 2000? Yeah. Pretty sure Cloud's Magic Plus is about to fart out another one. Yeah. That's gonna go straight on to Vincent. Shield materia. Oh, that's the. That's reflect and all that. Imperial guard. That sounds like equipment. Same but better. Yeah.
But yeah, I haven't had to grind much at all in this playthrough. If any, I actually I actually haven't at all in this playthrough. Wait, is that you? Christopher? I forgot. How could I how could I not show off Christopher? My dude Christopher. Oh my god, Cloud. Cloud is disgusting. Cloud with double cut is fucking... You know, that enemy was just called Christopher. Which is great. I definitely think that, like... That's a good-ass name. Now, hold on, I'm gonna build... You can't slash all on it all. Magic Pot is so dead. Oh! Ziggy Stardust? That's funny. There it is. We got another Magic Plus Materia. It's great. great because I can give it to Vincent now ideally I don't think he needs quadra magic but at the same time if I do that he won't be able to level it up unless of course I do something like this. And I just do that. I like to think that I might be slightly over leveled, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure everything I'm doing would be just as effective. Even if I was still, like, level 58. Because I feel like it's so much more about the materia than it is about what level I am right now. <laughs> like, this setup is just undeniably fucked up. What I have going on is just evil. Your actual level doesn't affect much right now, yeah. Most of what it is is like, my HP total. But like, at this point in the game, it's all about the material loadout. And I guess, based on how I'm doing... I have pretty good material- oh shit! I like to think I've got a pretty good grasp on the materia mechanics. I also love them to death. I think this system is really cool. I might honestly have to check out FF7 New Threat. Because I'm, I'm intrigued at how they would handle that. From a balance perspective. I went the wrong way. I'll start streaming New Threat tomorrow. Oh, sweet! Uh, let me know what time. DM me or at me or something. I would love to tune in if I'm not at work. Probably around this time? That works. I'm gonna come and backseat your playthrough. 
Get ready for my scathing criticism of your gameplay. If you don't use Vincent, I'm gonna laugh at you. Not because, like, Vincent's that good or anything, it's just, you know... Us Vincent fans are really funny. Am I what you'd call a Vincent fan? I guess I am. He's just really edgy and has a gun. I, I think that's just, like, enough for me. He's just a lot. This is what he is. He's also- He's Italian?! That's amazing. I don't know, like... Like that- Oh! Hey, Behemoth! Oh, the King Behemoth! Look at this! This guy is the King! Ow! He sure is. Now... Oh god, Tifa's damage. Alright, King Behemoth. I'm joking about his name being Vincent. Listen, you never know anymore. You never know! They're like, that's trivia. I'm like, mmm, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Remember how King Behemoth is the boss in Mario Sports Mix? Oh my god. Remember when Mario Sports Mix had, like, Proto Rosalina? Also known as White Mage? Oh, I know that one's not a joke. That one's real. Remember when, like, Mario played basketball with not Rosalina? That came before Mario Galaxy, too, if I remember right. Straight up the Rosalina prototype. Give me Elixir. Yeah, imagine if we actually got fi Final Fantasy New York. That shit would have been so fucking cool. Oh my god, so many Materia things just happened there. Vincent's Magic Plus level up yet? That's like a Vincent's Magic stat, though. Yeah, look. You see- you see how good his Magic stat is right now? That's with Magic Plus, like, not tied with Clouds at all, by the way. Like, if I gave him Clouds right now, he would probably have well over 240. You want- do you want to commit a social experiment? Let's- let's- let's do it. Actually, let's- let's trade their Magic Plus with theirs right now. Look at his magic stat now. 235. Close. Very, very, very close. To be honest, I'm gonna keep that on Vincent and level this up on Cloud, because... Christopher! Jesus Christ, Cloud! Please! You did not have to do that! Holy fuck! Get Christopher out of my face! That's what Cloud just said. My guy Christopher? Fuck him! Fuck Christopher. He is not my guy. He's absolutely not my guy. I love that it's called Big Breath. What the fuck does that mean? Big Breath? Like it's large? Like, explain.
I like that, like, in the other game, Magic Pot, like, leaves and you get ABP. But in this, he's like, Alright, you gave me an elixir, now I'll let you just kill me. Like... Alright, so obviously we don't want to go down there. I got cat. No, there, there was counter materia down there. Like, is there anywhere else for me to go here? Because if I go out here, he, like, drops down to where I was. Hold on, let me, let me make sure I'm not going... If I go back here, you like, yeah. Unless I'm supposed to go like down there. Oh. This is the point of no return, I think. Let's let's put a safe crystal right around here. Only time in the game you can actually do that. I think we're near the end of the game. This might be it. Oh, banger! Yo, look at this guy! Look at this guy! Look at this big ass dude. Ooh. 
Damn, he's got defense. I know, we get to hear this song, though, which- Woo! Oh, this is gonna do so much! Ooh, 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 ooh! Yo, my right ear really liked that one slash. Smoked! Yes! And not only do you get to see all these familiar enemies, listen to the song you get to hear. Get him, Tifa! Let's look at Tifa's damage. Hold on. Ooh! Ooh! Gonna show me how to do a fucking infinite? Yeah, for sure. Fuck. Huh. Nice. <laughs> This dragon zombie. Whoa, whoa. I love that sound. That sound is so good. Oh, there it is. Gonna hurt. Vincent's HP is really low. <laughs> it's gonna hurt like fucking. Ooh! Nice! Mentally, I am here. What's with Vincent's HP? Does he not have HP plus? Huh? He does. Yeah, I guess his HP total is just really bad. Oh, is it the tough ring? Maybe not. I don't know. I guess Vincent's just weak. It's a good thing I gave him the mistle then. Genova Synthesis. Synthesia? Let's try our new spell, right? I know I 
give him more HP. I want that. I want Sephiroth to have more HP. That's the big brain. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen this animation. Oh, you know, I want to really, really let it roll, you know. That was Genova. I'm fucking tripping, bro. Oh, let's go! I just noticed Cloud's level. Fuck. <laughs> We're gonna beat the game at that level, aren't we? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. We're good. Okay. Alright, here we go. We gotta, uh... We gotta actually think of this here. The hard part is doing the materia sorting. So, uh, here we go. Uh, do we have any good curators? Thank you. 
this is hard because I don't have a lot of materia. been giving birth to all of these HP plus and MP plus materia for this very moment. back Kujata. Banger. My material setup might be a little nice though, huh? Damn, that shit really was bizarro. Energy. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. Uh, whoever said that was the best spell animation in the game, you're absolutely right. You're so right. You are so utterly and completely right, it baffles me. All 
Alright. I think something's happening here. Okay, I can't kill that part. Got it. Oh, Tifa. That'll have to do. Sigma? Sigma. <laughs> oh shit! That's gonna hurt, right? Oh yeah. That hurt like fuck. No, okay. I thought she was hitting the wrong one there. I was about to get really sad. Oh! <laughs> it's so good! It's so fucking good! I'm guessing you have to kill, like, A. I'm gonna try and do it really fast. Oh wait, I actually have to switch to them? Oh, maybe that is it. Well, if the headpiece is revived, so we can kill it. Wait! It's definitely an ambitious boss fight. Oh, really? That's bad.
I touched it. After we space drag in this guy, we're just gonna knights it around him. <laughs> Extreme summoned monsters, by the way. I really like that name. Look at how sick Bahamut Zero looks, though. Tell me that isn't sick. That's so sick. I want to see that in Remake so bad. Oh my god. Now... Why are there three Bahamas? Jesus! That did so much! Wait... Here it comes. Not really. We're gonna out damage that healing. I'm sick of you healing now. Japanese fighter planes? Really? How so? Like just in their, in their designs or? I got a gift sub? Let's go. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, cooked. Cooked! Oh by the way, Cloud just healed all of his MP because of MP absorb. All of his MP is back. Good good material. Well, here it comes. Here it comes. It's time! It's time! We gotta let the song play. Oh, yeah! It's time! Alright, uh, I don't know what he's gonna start with, so I'm gonna open up with, uh... There it is! Oh, that's gonna hurt like fuck. Ooh! out of range now. Well, he's not at a range for this shit, homie. He's 
<laughs> this doesn't look quite right. Pale horse? Ow. Big breath too? So anyways, I started Knights of the Round. She's a frog! That's what happens. Oh. oh, here it is! Yes! Yes! This is what I wanted. This is so good. So good. Pluto. Saturn. Oh, Jupiter's fucked. Gone. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking sun obliterated. Smoke. Like, what even is this? I mean, it's really fucking funny, but like... Oh! Ow! It's cool, though, we're good. I cast life. Name a better final boss attack animation, you can't. You're, you're absolutely right about that. So my Mega Elixir, did it come out? Oh, thank god.
That shit was so fucking godlike. That attack is so good. Oh my god. Man, you tell me that barrier is actually doing anything? You mean to tell me this man's barrier is actually doing something? That's crazy. Nobody knows what's happening if Pando is Fox. Oh my god, do we have D-Spell anywhere? His barrier's gone now. Thank god. I'm gonna do Supernova again though. I gotta be ready for it. Oh, it's Pale Horse again. Once again, Keepa gets obliterated. Oh yeah! It's time! I think this is actually shorter than Knights of the Round, though, if I remember right. Like, if I'm not mistaken about this, it actually is shorter than Knights of the Round. No supernova is longer? Oh, really? I could have sworn. I know they're like neck and neck, right? I know I saw a Japanese supernova and I was just like... It's technically better for game pacing, but it's not nearly as funny. This should have been the whole final smash. Like, this this whole thing. Because then you could have done like 4 player Sephiroth like, games. And they would never end. Although, this one can't kill you, apparently. If, if from what I'm reading is not incorrect. Which is really strange to me. That, 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 I feel like that is very odd. Two for good measure. Uh oh, someone's dying. Tifa. I think Cloud has life, right? Is he not? I think Vincent did.
Damn, not a fan of Tifa, huh? He's, he's dead. Excuse me? Is that a crit? I think it was a crit. Like, there's no way that wasn't a crit, right? Please hit somebody besides Tifa with it. Thank you. I haven't used Bahamut Zero yet. Yeah, I've got 77 Mega Elixirs. Maybe I should have used Hero Drinks. Still a few of them. Still quite a few of them. But, uh... The Mini Vincent dealing one damage while in Death Aegis? That's incredible. Wish I could menu during this though. That's my only complaint. Wow, she has more HP than Cloud. I just noticed. That's pretty impressive. Oh, she's confused. I should've used White Winds. Oh well. We're gonna see how it goes. Like it's hard for me to lose this fight. I might just have to kill Tifa and leave her dead. She's not doing much. Because I forgot to put the ribbon on. Which that that one's on me. Anyways, here's my guy. This summon is still like- I think this is still my favorite summon animation in the game. Oh no! That's bad. I think that healed him for all of his HP. Yeah. Oh well. I've got time! If Sephiroth has time, I have time. But I am gonna get rid of the dead weight on my team right now. Oh, 
story. Is deep. Not enough to kill me. All right. He doesn't have a ribbon, so she's useless. Not even gonna bother reviving her. A waste of time. The fight has honestly gone on for far too long. But, uh... Pale Horus, not gonna do anything. I'm mostly just waiting you did in fact yeah I mean I figured because it just said recovery but like I said I have time It's really not an issue. I've got like 75 Mega Elixirs. And I've decided to just get rid of Tifa because she's absolutely useless in this fight. The character doesn't have a ribbon, you can't use them in this fight. So I just won't. Make sure. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I had to use a Mega Elixir beforehand, and uh, Confuse works a little differently and a little more annoyingly in this game. Where if you set an action before you're confused, the game doesn't reset that like it didn't, like FF5. Uh, it just goes through with whatever you were doing and then does it wrong, which is kind of annoying that it fucks up your ATV queue, which makes it pretty much the worst status effect in the game because of how they programmed it. Because if you're doing anything, whatever you were doing uh, is still saved. And I won't lie, I kind of like how they handled it better in Final Fantasy V where it, you know, undid that. But... All this means is that I gotta wait. No, I'm just waiting. Alright, we got Cloud's Limit Break. But we're not going to use it yet. Instead, I, I've made an... I, I'm, I've elected to make a decision. It's 
called setting up. Kill him. That would have been really appropriate if it had killed. I just noticed he slowed. I don't think I have time on Vincent, do I? I do not. That's okay though. The regen. Regen is actually really fucking good in this game. Do you use a speed drink if you have those? That's a good question. I probably do somewhere. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, because he's got wall. I don't think I have a speed drink. Unfortunately. But I'm getting ready to do this again, because I think Cloud will have limit after this hits again. Like I said, I've got time! Yeah, regen had the, uh, the CD tray trick. You could also poison an enemy and open the tray, and, uh, they would die of poison <laughs> while the tray was open. And you could close it. That was, a, that was another funny, haha. Uh, this tray moment. That I won't lie, was was really funny. When I, when I heard about that, I couldn't believe it. Saga Frontier this? What? Oh my god. That's... That's really, really oddly specific. You gonna come down now? Oh, there it is. Heartless Angel. I've been wondering when that was. Please, please stop panning the fucking camera. Thank you, game. Is 
the damage output. Make elixir? Oh, oh, that's it! <laughs> I have time, bitch! I have time. And if you think I don't suck my balls, you fuck. Oh. Regen counteracted it? Yeah, I'm, I'm big brain. Motherfucker really thought he could waste my time? Fuck you. Hell. Dude's posting their L's online. This guy. We got him. It is that easy. This Omni Slash. Omni Slash and Hero Drinks. To be honest, I could have probably done. Oh, his HP is going up. Here it is. This, this is the scene, though. Level 6. Wait, did I actually win with 699 HP? Did I actually? There's no fucking way. I have to check the HP. Fucking, really. Time. This is so sick. Fuck him up! Smoke. That's so sick. Oh, I love that. And that's Final Fantasy VII. That was a goddamn good ass game. That was a fucking good ass game. That was a really good game. Oh, let's go. It's her.
But yeah, Yuffie and uh, Vincent aren't in the uh, aren't in the CG because you know optional. Sid is still smoking the same cigarette. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's the first time it's left his mouth. Did finally say shit, it's at the end of the game. Yo, here comes. Oli's gonna do it! Easy. Easy. Never mind. It's not easy anymore. It's bad. Yo. Symbolic that it hit Shinra, right? Shinra literally gets fucking obliterated. That must mean something. Oh, there goes Midgar. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a lot of people. Not enough. No. I knew holy was always worse than black magic. It's true. The white mage is worse. This game confirmed it. No, Reeve went to calm too. I think. If I remember right. But then, because we defeated Sephiroth. The planet doesn't want to fucking give up. The planet!
So that's Final Fantasy VII. Aerith at the very end. Well... This is a good ass game. Do I- do I gotta say it again? Truly a good ass game. Not... Fucking lying. That was great. That was worth the 34 hours I put into that? Crazy that, like, a game can just be good and also really popular at the same time. Wild. I, I, that's insane. Honestly, I've never heard of that happening ever in my life. Yeah, I, I would have to say yeah. Now that I've... Now that I have played it in full. Why do people love this game? I get it. I think I get it now, for real. I, I can see why this game had the impact it did. In spite of, like, the little problems I had with it. I, I can see why. It's... Honestly, wild to me how much this game tried to do things, and like, it didn't fuck them up? Like, sometimes it was executed a little poorly, but like, most of the time, the things it set out to do, it just did. And in a franchise like Final Fantasy, where the precedent for that is normally like Final Fantasy 2, that was a big deal, I would assume. Less than a year- that's crazy. That's- honestly, that sounds like a fucking lie. There are- there are some parts of this game that give me the impression that maybe it was a little... fast, but like... For like a really early PS1- well not early, it was like- Pretty middle of the PS1's lifespan. I mean, but like, consider Final Fantasy VI had like similar. Like, that's that's a thing in every Final Fantasy game, to be honest. Like, the the most stable Final Fantasy game, the most stable Final Fantasy game of the original like nine, I would say. Like, of the first nine games. Like, 5 is probably the most solidly programmed. But, like, that doesn't really matter. Most of the bugs in Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6 are like, one thing doesn't work. Or in 7, it's like, the magic defense is bugged, but, like, this is... You can find a patch online to fix that at this point. And, like, every re-release of FF7 has that fixed. So, like... Whatever. Doesn't matter. Like, just... Man. What a fucking good game. I'm glad I played this on stream. I'm fucking glad I streamed this game. I'm smiling right now while I say this. I'm grinning. I'm happy. Now, the question is, do I stop now or do I just do one hour of garbage? Cuz I had set aside time for four hours and this is only three. Okay, I can't right now. I don't have the... That's gonna be later. That's gonna take time, I gotta grind for that one. But... 
I'm sitting on curse tech. I'll say that. But yeah, I'm... I'm super, super happy with this game. Overall, I like this game. This is probably in like my- uh, of the Final Fantasy games I've played, this is probably in my top three. I would have to say. Probably. Of the ones I've played. And I've only played like the first eight. So that's obviously not much, considering there's like 15 of them. But... That's about half. Ah, yes. Final Fantasy VIII. Which had so much in common with this game, for sure. Listen. If you like FF8, that is amazing. I'm glad. That's all I'm gonna say about FF8. I can't stream FF8. I can't. I can't. I, I, if I did, I would say things I wouldn't mean to say. I love it, but everyone who hates it is also- Right? I, everybody that likes 8 has told me that. That's one thing I will say. It's not like Final Fantasy 8 people are like, Oh yeah, this game's the greatest thing ever. They're like, no, this game fucking blows, but I love the hell out of it. Like, everybody that likes Final Fantasy 8 that I know has told me that. They're like, no, 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 you're completely right. It's just, I also think the game is incredible. And I'm like, you know what? Fair. Fucking fair. I can't even take that away from you. That's fair as fuck. And Red, Red 13 fucking has kids. I don't think it blo- Yeah, like- Oh, that's a fucking sick shot, though! Oh, that's sick! That's fucking godlike! <laughs> that's a fucking sick shot! Fucking frame that. Frame that shit. That's so good. That's so good. What was that? Oh. But yeah, no, like the... That was good. That was fucking awesome. I would even go as far as to say that was fucking...